Max Lawrence says, Hey dude, I wanted some help making reinforced defenses on barracks. I need to make them perfectly aligned with columns of the barracks. If, and if you make them, send me a file. I would really appreciate it. So, just for fun here, let's go ahead and let's try to do uh, spiked barricades on a barrack. So I'm going to open up. Here's our, uh, here's our standard barracks. As you can see, uh, it's looking pretty good. And uh, actually, I said spike barricades. He said reinforced defenses. So let's keep that in mind. We want to be using reinforced defenses. So for that, uh, we'll go ahead and load. Uh, is it a buff? Does reinforced defenses actually use a buff? I bet it doesn't, does it? It's probably an ability. All right, we'll get uh, we'll get reinforced defenses from the list of abilities here. Uh, reinforced burrows, reinforced defenses. So let's see. You stand alternate, I guess. It plays like that. So that's kind of funny, right? Because as you look at this model, you can see that they're, it's like two models in one, right? It's the, the one for the burrow and the one for the tower, which is actually really interesting because it makes us realize that if you go to the watch tower, uh, it has this attachment animation names set to alternate so that it'll load specifically this alternate version on this particular model, which is kind of funny. Um, but basically what we're saying we want to do here is give a version of this to the barracks. So for that, um, we could probably use our own model because we probably don't need to put them two in one like they did here with Blizzard, uh, or like, you know, Blizzard Entertainment's version here. So we'll, we'll base it off this. Uh, maybe we could base it off these curved ones. But I think our key is going to be, can we align it with the barracks? So for that, let's go ahead and see if we could just figure out what do we need to see the basic barracks? So if we get Geoset 0 and 1, we can actually see the barracks from that. So I would say, let's import the barracks into this model with the intention of later deleting it, uh, just so that we can really see where to put things, right? So we're just going to get that Geoset 1 and 2. Uh, we'll just drop animations, drop all that. We don't, we don't need any animation from this thing at all. Uh, and we're just going to link it to box 8 here because... Uh, this barracks is not a part of anything we actually care about in terms of animations. That'll make it easier when we delete it later, but having it all linked to something out of reinforced burrows means we didn't add any animation nodes. We didn't add anything that would bother us. So basically that gets us a little stand-in so we can see the barracks, right? Which is pretty important uh, because we want to be modifying this guy to be shaped like the barracks. Uh, now I guess the other thing we could do is maybe drag this away because that's what we're going to be heavily editing so that we can turn on the barracks to see it and then start selecting components of the, our reinforced uh, burrows here to try to drag that in to fit it with the barracks. So then I guess your next question is going to be really, you know, wh where do you put these to make them look uh, fitting for a barracks? And I guess the best thing that comes to mind for me is that they would probably be next to and supporting the, the barracks main columns there. I think here he had said uh, perfectly lined with the columns of the barracks, right? And so I don't know exactly what that should look like, but what comes to mind for me would be something kind of like this. Um, so we have that there, and then I guess the other thing is maybe we want more than what we used to have in the uh, in the burrow. So let's just try to line those up, right? So we put them right about here. Um, I think that's starting to look pretty good, but the other key is going to be how they're how they're rotated and how they fit. So in that regard, um, let's see. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Something like that. Uh, there's there is a bit of a challenge here in making sure that everything is how we want it to be. For example, this one actually we don't want to be there. Once they animate, I'm working. I'm 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 working and I'm talking at the same time. When these when these particular uh, support beams that we're adding actually animate up out of the ground, they might not look good anymore now that I moved them because I'm not yet moving the animations. So we might have an extra step of work here at the end of this where we fix uh, the animations of these to really look how we want them to. But uh, we, we should be able to do that. So I can still I can still go ahead and do that here. Uh, now let's see if I try to fit this over there. That looks pretty good. Uh, so basically, I'm just trying to make it, you know, sort of fit around what's already in the barracks there. Uh, I'm hoping that that will look decent. Uh, I suppose, you know, you could also try to sort of make them larger, maybe like overlap the, the barracks. But I was, I'm just going for like a, 
you know, just like something that looks like it's built in and would, would fit with what's already there. Uh, yeah, let's see. Then we'll get this one. We'll go ahead and use up that last one here. Make it a little bit bigger and fit it into there. Of course, it actually needs to be up here. Let me go ahead and do a, uh, do a direct upward motion. Yeah, so we get somewhere like there. Maybe that one's a little too big. Hard to say for sure. So we fit that on the barracks. So we know what we want it to do, right? We know that we want them to come around and surround the barracks the same way that these things do on uh, the reinforced defenses for the burrow. The other thing I was thinking might look kind of cool that we could try here is uh, what if I take two of these and uh, in order for this to work, let's save this temporarily as reinforced defenses. Or barracks. Uh, so what I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a merge geoset on reinforced defenses for barracks. I'm going to merge geoset to uh, cancel. This doesn't have a cancel function. All right, this thing's broken. So let me just uh, close that. Nope. Uh, we're going to open it again. Basically, there's a uh, there's a bug in this merge tool. It's really old. But uh, if I, I wanted to sorry I wanted to import into one and I want to import two. And why I'm doing this will become really clear in a second. So basically my intention was to get <clears throat> a version of the backward bent metal components here. Or maybe they're stone, I don't know. Um, those backward bent fortified components where I can basically use them. Uh, here, let me get it on. Select connected component mode. Yeah, here we go. So we got, we got these. <clears throat> but they're now in our other geo set. So these aren't a part of the ones that only show for the towers animations. These will show during uh, the animations we care about. And the reason I want that is because I thought it'd be pretty cool to put two of these at the front of the barracks. So if I turn that barracks display back on, right? Uh, I was just thinking that it might be neat to have them sort of like right here at the very front. Uh, it's kind of like a support for that. Uh, obviously, it needs to be done in exactly the right way so that it doesn't look bad. And I'm not exactly sure that what I have here is the exact right way. Uh, but it'll be something kind of like this, right? Where you kind of get a little a little feel of a, of a support going on for the, the front of the barracks also. Mm, something like that, right? About like that. Right about like that. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. That's, that's too far. All right, that's not too far. Let's see, move it back out a little bit. Kind of like right about there. And then this one maybe is a little low. Maybe we want to be higher up. <clears throat> so really just all of these, I think. Um, and we can delete the ones we didn't use. It's probably beneficial for me to be totally sure that the base of all of these things extends under the ground. I know that used to be true for the old ones. Uh, we're just going to make sure that's still true. Hopefully I'm not like damaging what I've just created graphically too much, uh, but that's just going to ensure that it looks good and ensure that things come out of the ground. Um, so we've made some great progress there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this stand-in barracks, right? Because we don't actually want that in our in our final model. And I'm also curious, so like the stand animation on this looks pretty good, but then we got to ask, what does birth look like, right? So birth is clearly wrong. A whole bunch of these are, are sort of rising out of the ground the wrong way. And these front two aren't even rising out of the ground at all. So for that, uh, let's turn it back on and let's check out our, our available nodes here. So we can see, uh, first off, that these things don't all have their own node, which we want them to have. <coughs> so if we go to birth. Right, you can see this looks bad. This is this is what we don't want here. So uh, for that, if we just turn on like one particular node, right? This particular node, I'm sure, has some rotation frames. Uh, now I don't particularly know. Okay, so he's he's managing these two on the side. Those are probably the best looking two. So let me see about uh, this node. Do we know who's attached to this node? I need to add graphically an indicator because I don't have one. 
we could just play with it and see. So like this guy looks pretty good, but uh, he's starting off wrong. Uh, basically, when he starts off, he should be he should be upward, right? I mean, you want it to be like upward, and then it and it comes up out of the ground, really. Which is actually not only is it needing to be upward, it's also the wrong angle completely. So it's kind of supposed to be like over here, right? And it like rises up out of the ground over there, kind of like that. Now, my animation editor here is a little bit old and has some things, or uh, not old, but unfinished, right? So it adds a certain degree of uh, vibrating. Like when you look at that thing, it kind of is wobbling. Uh, we can we can fix the wobbling, but uh, we just didn't yet. So I could maybe show you how to do that too. Uh, so for these, we kind of want them to start facing up. But is that too much there? That looks pretty good. So I'll show you how to get rid of the wobbling when we're done. Just assume they're not going to actually wobble when we're done. So these two are coming up out of the ground. Or at least they shouldn't wobble much. These two are coming up out of the ground. But we don't have... Like, there's still the one of the far ones is just crazy. Let's see. If I click down here, I should be able to... Yeah, we'll get back to the beginning. Which one is this? That's this one. So we could rotate that up a bit. So it actually is coming out of the ground starting off. That starts to look much, much better. We'll go to we'll go to 12 here and we'll see. What is this controlling? This one, that one's great. That one's in the sky. All right, we're gonna get that down out of the sky. Uh, knowing, of course, that in doing so, we also need to get it to face back upward and it's gonna be in totally the wrong place. So it ends over here, right? So we want it to start over there where it ends, basically. So that it comes up out of the ground more or less like we would want. But it's actually starting now too far up, so we should be able to rotate it more down, get it so it comes more out of the ground, which actually reminds me, some of these other ones maybe could be not that one. Um, I wonder that maybe they should be further into the ground with their angles, uh, just, for, just for cinematic effect, right? Of course, needs to be done carefully, but oh, it might look good so that we're sure that they're all coming up out of the ground down there. Uh, it's starting to look pretty good. I would say probably the only other one that doesn't look good would be uh, like this one. Or no, one of these, one of these later ones. So that isn't anything. Maybe this one. Nope. Here we go. This guy. This guy. I don't like. He starts off totally the wrong way, right? It's it's like just underground, it's just completely underground. So we're gonna try to rotate him up so that we can get him more where we want. But now that's like too far, right? So it's gonna come up out of the ground, kinda like that. So I mean, that that alone looks pretty good, right? Let's go ahead and give this one a try. Now we noticed the front beams are moving in this display, but they weren't moving in this display. And that might be fixed by a file save, but it might not. Uh, so I'm a little curious, actually. If I open uh, reinforced defenses for barracks to birth, we can see that the animation here for this front two is not actually visually applied. Even though if I go to like the animation selector and I select the birth animation, it's applied here. So that's actually really interesting because it illustrates how the uh, if I had to guess, it's almost as though my bone geo ID validator is turned off or just got something wrong with it. So it's the same problem. Maybe I think we were seeing the other model that my dis my visual display is not correct. But I think it'll be correct in game. So let's let's go ahead and try that. Reinforce defenses for barracks too. And we'll just import that right into this map. Uh, reinforce defenses for barracks too. We'll save that. And then of course we gotta get the uh, reinforced defense, re yeah, reinforced burrows upgrade, uh, and we're gonna just make a copy of it that uses our new model, and we'll give that to the barracks, and we'll see in game does that actually display on the barracks when we do that upgrade. Uh, I think it should be zero, zero. Yeah, reinforced. 
Defenses upgrade. Now to make our lives easier, let's also give us a uh, starting one just so we can do that upgrade right at the start. Great. Hopefully it'll look good. Um, you know, uh, I haven't done this before, so always kind of fun to see if these things work. Let's we see. Need here. All right, we need some money there, of course. Great. Now we're doing our upgrade, and Research complete. ah, it didn't work. Very curious. I'm not immediately sure why. Let's go back to the editor and check that back out. Uh, we gave it reinforced burrows upgrade, but oh, reinforced burrows upgrade doesn't require anything. That is fancy. Okay, so the reasoning behind that, right, would be that upgrades used probably needs to have uh, what is like R orc reinforced burrows. Yeah, reinforced defenses. Which means that it's the combination of upgrade and ability that make it work. So maybe now it'll work. I think probably it will. Uh, but we're we're gonna see for sure here. Let's see. Great, and we'll just run that and we'll see. Do we get we still don't. All right, let me uh, let me check out here in the editor if there's a better explanation for that. That's that's really interesting. Reinforced defenses, defense type change. Oh, maybe the barracks's defense type needs to start at medium. Maybe it needs to be just exactly the same because uh, we need it. That's not medium. Wait a second. That's wrong. That is wrong. The orc burrow is large. Watchtower is large. So we'll make the barracks large and we'll see. Can we make it exactly the same so that this custom ability registers? And if we can't, why not? Alright, we'll do this upgrade. Let me build a burrow just for a sanity check here. Okay, it works on the burrow. It's on the burrow right there. It's not on the barracks. Not one bit. Did I, did I load the model? We see the models in the map, right? Reinforced defenses or barracks too. Okay, so that's in there. Uh, what attachment point does this use? Let me let's do an attachment point verification on the barracks and on uh, the burrow, and we'll make sure that they match and that the burrow doesn't have anything the barracks doesn't have in that regard. So when I look at the burrow and I look at its components, right? It has attachment origin and overhead, and then sprite, first, second, third, medium. Sprite medium. Uh, I don't think we have sprite medium on the barracks, so maybe the barracks model needs to have that. I'm curious if sprite medium is centered, or like where it is. So let's see, sprite medium. Interesting. It's almost centered, but it's raised a little bit. Let's put that in the barracks model. We'll see if that fixes it. So I'm going to import from workspace here. I'm just going to bring in sprite medium from the burrow so that we have the same attachment point linking behavior. I don't see medium anywhere in the ability code, so if that has, is actually necessary, then that suggests that uh, reinforced burrows is just super hard coded. But uh, We'll call this the upgradable barracks, right? With the idea, of course, that, oh, don't look at that. Uh, with the idea, of course, that uh, the upgradable barracks is going to be working here. Let's see. Upgradable barracks, great. Okay, so now we're going to give that model to the barracks to signify that it will have the correct attachment point, right? Visually, it looks the same, but it's going to allow us to hopefully link that guy onto that. Uh, there's some Discord conversation. Someone was asking me something. I don't remember what. Private conversation. Don't read it. All right, great. So here's my barracks. Uh, let's see. Synergy, warp 10, greatest good out of 9. And we'll run our reinforced defenses, and we'll see a spray medium the missing key. It is not. It is not the missing key. All right, it's not about spray medium. All right, well, we tried that. Uh... Reinforced defenses for barracks, too. 
It doesn't show it. It doesn't show anything. Let's try ARBR. Let me give it ARBR. I'm really curious. Does ARBR show on it? Is there some kind of magic here? Some reason that ARBR wouldn't show? So, of course, this will show the original with that. Um, I don't know. All right. Synergy, Warp 10, Greed is good. I also, uh, just again for a sanity check, I'm going to build a burrow so that I can see what does the burrow do when I do this upgrade. Is there something else happening here that's not obvious? Research complete. Okay, the burrow is behaving. I have an idea that just occurred to me, actually. Um, let's check with the orc burrow. I like to, I like to type... These, okay, I like to type research IDs to speed things up, but the editor can actually allow me to type them wrong. I need a lowercase o on R orb, uh, which of course is the orc reinforced burrows. So, that might fix it. Uh, that, that'll, that'll do it, actually. That'll probably be it. That might mean we don't need Sprite Medium. I actually don't know. So, this'll, I think this'll fix it. Uh, what we'll see now. It's going to be that it was just my typo that broke everything. It'll probably work the first time for you. Uh, do the upgrade, and as we expected, the barracks shows the uh, original ARBR benefit. So now we're just going to go and we're going to give it our custom ability with a custom attachment of uh, like art. And now we should be able to do a reinforced barracks. Reinforced barracks it is. Let's. Uh, Let's do it. So I can build this orc burrow. And I'll get some money. And I'll get some synergy. And then uh, we'll upgrade reinforced defenses. And our barracks, who has heavy armor, will get upgraded to have not heavy armor. Now, one interesting thing here is that um, you may notice the sprite medium that we added is not perfectly centered. So the barracks attachment we created isn't exactly how it was when we created it. I don't really like that. I want it to be exactly how we created it. So let's go in this, and we'll go to Sprite Medium. And just because of how, you know, the work that we did, we're going to do a position type in on Sprite Medium that is 0, 0, 0, so that it's absolutely centered. Um, and that should fix that, uh, which, of course, is in our upgradable barracks model that we want to replace. So I don't actually know if this thing would attach to origin if I didn't give it that attachment point. So that's the other thing we could try to do is see like does our does our origin thing fix it if I just get rid of sprite medium altogether? I don't really know about that. Uh, let's give this a look. Research complete. There you go. Uh, it looks it looks decent. I would say is actually off center from what I sort of expected, but I didn't spend a lot of time looking at where everything was in exactly in exact form. So I guess maybe that's just how it does look. Maybe I was just a little careless in placing it, um, but it's interesting. Because yeah, I think that's I think it's more or less how we set it up to look. Uh, so I mean, you would probably want to you would probably want to just move almost all of these like down towards us a little bit. I would probably say, uh, you know, but let's see, that would be like, if we're here, yeah, that is pretty much how it looks, isn't it? No, wait a second, it's different in game than it is here. What about stand? Yeah, right, we look at stand, and we look at reinforced upgrade too. It doesn't line up. It really doesn't. So reinforce upgrade two. I lowered. I'm curious. Like if I don't show the barracks, is reinforce upgrade two actually different from one? No, it's not, right? It's different because we moved some of the components. Okay, that's all that happened. But we didn't move the main back components, despite the fact that the ones in our stand-in, they look all nice and stuff. They're down here, and the ones in the game are super raised. 
right they're they're raised way up from that so that seems to suggest maybe the barracks has already if I go to upgradable barracks does it already have some kind of sprite medium it does now it has two sprite mediums well that's the problem what is sprite medium for all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a new upgradable barracks. We're going to fix sprite medium. Actually, let's not even do that. Let's start by just using the normal barracks model. Let's see if that does it. Maybe you don't need a special barracks model, you know? That's what it looks like for me. All right, I got to close the game. There we go. Maybe you don't need the special barracks model. Maybe you do. Just depends. I don't actually know where the barracks' original sprite medium was. It's probably the one being used. It's probably the source of the issue, but let's keep looking. All right, we'll do our reinforced defenses upgrade, and yeah, we're still using the barracks as sprite medium and not the one I wanted. Uh, in addition, you'll note that the the front portions are not animated that I wanted to have be animated. So that I don't like very much. Uh, for that, I think what we want to do, I guess, is just like duplicate some of these nodes. I'm actually also really curious, like if I put this as a text file, can I go in and check? that the nodes are how we expect them to be, right? I mean, it's really like our geoset anim ID is just not correct. Geoset anim ID is set to none. Rotation has values in the part we want it to have. Birth, 13, 2, 3, 3, right? So it should be moving, but it's not moving. Uh, the other thing we actually want to do, I forgot, if you do this linear animation function, it'll remove the jittering during birth. So everything just rises uh, very naturally. So we probably want that here. So let's go ahead and save uh, Reinforced Defenses 3. I'm just kind of double checking myself on that one. Great. So there's, there's uh, now it looks like that fixed it. Maybe it didn't. Maybe saving it as a text file actually auto generated my IDs when it wouldn't have otherwise. That's a bug. But anyway. Um, Version 3 here is looking really nice. So we fixed that. We fixed version 3. And it looks like what we need to do is we need to make another upgradable barracks. It's going to be exactly right. We're going to go to that orc barracks. I'm not really sure. Oh, I guess sprite medium must be the one that's used for the spiked barricades, which is bad because it means that if we... This is key. If I move sprite medium, I'll ruin spiked barricades on the barracks. So let's make this called test barracks. And I'm going to show you another trick here because it, as it turns out, we can't do it how I wanted to do it, right? So you go to sprite medium, right? And that's object ID 59. So of course, um, for object ID 59, if, this, if object ID 0 is 79, then you got to add 79 plus 59, right? And could probably do that in a calculator and find in my head that it was actually 138, but let's add 79 plus 59. So this gets me 7138. So if we go to 7138, we can see right here our values. And then what we need to do is we need to go to our reinforced defenses, defenses guy and basically just go to the geometry and say that I'm going to move all of that with a translate type in. Now, of course, this has its own concept of z, y, x, which I don't like. It should not have been the case. Like, if I have a hundred y, right, or a thousand y, what direction do I actually move in, right? I move to the left. But the reality of the matter is, oh, maybe that's right. All right, let's assume that's right. Let's do a translation type in, and let's do x, y, z, where this is our x, that's our y, and that's our z. And basically, this is going to offset us um, to be where we want to be. The key, of course, being that uh, when we apply this offset, we actually want to apply it in reverse, right? Because we're canceling out the positioning of this node. So that's my x, that's my y, and then this will be my z, which of course needs to be in reverse. So now the z is the one that has to be negative. So we put it up there like that, um, I'm doubting. Is that what we want it? Is that where we want it to be? Maybe it moved upward, even though I entered a negative z. 
So if I do 30x, x is actually z. Okay, that's really broken. Really, really broken. So 100z moves me forward, even though in this, I'm pretty sure this is the forward amount. So that's broken. So we're going to do a translate type in. So this is actually forward amount, and then this is actually sideways amount. So they're in order. They're just misnamed. That's ridiculous. All right, sure. So we put that in. That ought to fix them. Let's see. Reinforced defenses. For barracks. Four. All right. Version four. Lucky, lucky one, right? Reinforced defenses for barracks four. Might be where we intended it to be. Might start to look good. Great, so I'm doing reinforced defenses, and now it's right where we put it. Look at that, just spot on, just right where we put it. And now you can build a new barracks, and that ought to look good too, right? It'll have the uh, the armor in there defending the barracks, so now it's sort of like heavy armor. So that is how you add reinforced defenses to apply to the barracks while also still applying. And, you know, you could, I mean, you could turn it off. I don't know what your, what your design goal is, right? Uh, but that way you have you have the barracks and you have the orc burrow and you have the watchtower and they each have their own implementation of the graphics of reinforced defenses. So there you go. I hope you have a good day.